वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी गोइंग टू ड्राइव रिलेशन फॉर इक्वेशन ऑफ कॉन्टीन्यूटी और यू कैन से दैट ड्राइव एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ चार्ज वन एंड दिस सेम थिंग सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ चार्ज वी कैन से द फ्लक्स थ्रू ए क्लोज सर्फेस इज इक्वल टू डिग्रीज ऑफ चार्ज इन द वॉल्यूम बाउंडेड बाई इट वॉट इट मीन्स वी कैन से द आउटर फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज मस्ट बी बाउंडेड बाई ए रेट ऑफ डिग्रीज ऑफ चार्ज विद इन क्लोज सर्फेस That is I is equal to closed surface J dot D A. Now this is the relation between current density with current, or you can say that this is the total current flowing out through a closed surface is related to current current density. So write it as equation number first. So as we know that we talking about a conservation of charge. For that we talk about steady current or non steady current. so for the static current the magnitude and direction of current are the same everywhere and remains unchanged with time but if current is not steady both current and current density vary from point to point as well as from time to time so in general we express current and current density as the functions of space coordinates and time coordinates so current will be three dimensional in case of 3d and if we talk about space that's why we consider time coordinate as well so i'm writing x y z and t similarly for current density in space coordinates with the help of time so it can be expressed as now i'm going to relation for instant values of current for that we consider volume v of a conductor rho be the volume charge density so i am considering a conductor whose volume is v i current is flowing through it j be the current density and d a be the elementary area so the total current or you can say that the total charge in the volume is given by now charge it can be represented with the help of q is equals to we talk about volume that's why triple integration is equal to rho into dv write it as equation number 2 but according to the definition of current we can say that the rate of flow of charge the current through conducting cylinder is given by so i is equals to negative d q divided by dt negative sign indicates that the outflow of charge from the cylindrical surface outflow of the charge from cylindrical surface that's why i'm writing negative sign over here so now i am substituting the value of q from equation 2 over here so it will be i is equal to negative d dt value of q is this putting here write it as equation number 3 now i am comparing equation first and equation third so i am writing closed surface integration j dot d a is equals to negative d dt triple rho density into dv this is the charge or you can say that this is the total current through the conducting surface write it as equation number 4 now according to the divergence theorem we can say that this expression is equal to divergence of j for triple integration this is for volume that's why i'm writing dv write it as this equation number 5 so on comparing equation 4 and 5 we find triple integration divergence j dot dv is equal to negative of this and we know that this function is multiplied over here so it will be negative d rho divided by dt into dv according to this triple integration i am writing dv over here so we get divergence of j that means this is equal to this because these two terms are cancel with each other we left with divergence of j is equal to negative d rho divided by dt and it can be expressed as this can be written as divergence or you can say that del dot j is equal to negative of this this is the equation of continuity and represents the physical fact of conservation of charge now we move to the discussion part if the current is steady that is 
its magnitude is not changing with the space or time then according to the law of conservation of charge you can say that the total charge inside the elementary volume remains constant with time that's why i'm writing d rho divided by dt is equal to 0 that means divergence of j is equal to 0 which is basic equation of steady current and for steady current the equation of continuity describes the fact that the total flux through a closed surface is equal to decrease of charge in the volume bounded by it in steady current the outward flux is equal to inward flux which makes the divergence of j is equal to zero i hope you understand the equation of continuity thank you